everyone. Welcome to this new channel. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of paintings and progress paintings. I'm going to be doing time lapse stuff, maybe some artist interviews um, on this first uh, sort of video vlog thing. I'm going to be showing a time lapse of this peacock painting behind me. And at the end of it, I'll be answering some of the questions that I got from people on Instagram. And I just got back from Denver. I dropped off a painting that I was honored to do for the almighty incredible Gordon Combs. Um, he's a great tattooer based out of Denver now, and he's also doing some time in Portland. Uh, he's, he let me paint an eagle for him, and it, it, while it was intimidating, it was also a huge honor, like I said. So I'll have some info about that and also about um, showing some uh, Gordon's work to y'all. Uh, I also am going to be doing, at the end of this video, um, some of the responses to the questions I got asked on Instagram.
So I'm answering some of these uh, mailbag questions that I got from y'all on Instagram. Uh, my boy Nick Hall Tattoo said, when did you start painting, start oil painting? Um, I started oil painting about five and a half years ago. I really got into it because I realized that um, watercolor had kind of taken me to maybe as far as I could go with what I wanted to show in painting. And um, oil painting just seemed like a challenge and maybe uh, something I had been scared to do, scared to try. And then finally, I just had to overcome it and, and jump fucking full in. And I'm much happier now that I have. Uh, Dasarn8 asks, what got you interested in painting and artistry? Um, I've been interested in painting my whole life. I think when I was a little kid, I would um, draw my favorite comic book characters. I would draw, try to draw my girlfriend's pictures. I would try to um, draw all my favorite hockey players. So I think doing art and painting and drawing and um, anything artistic came from wanting to represent the things I was into at the time. So, you know, along comes Nirvana and I'll, I'm drawing Nirvana style stuff. Um, all, you know, all, all of a sudden comes along hockey and, and you know, it, so it, it's just been with me my whole life. And I've, whenever I'm interested, I just wanted to make things about it. My boy, the ease one asks, uh, how does it feel to be uh, a oils pimp such as yourself? I don't know that I am a pimp yet. I mean, like, I feel like I have so far to go with it, but I... I'm, I absolutely love doing it. I fucking couldn't be happier. Um, oil painting is just, I, I don't know, man. I love it. It's exciting. It's its something I look forward to every day because I get to have um, a lot of the say on it. And for me, whenever I'm, you know, making a new painting, um, there's this like energy that, that comes to me. It's like this new feeling. It's like falling in love again. So um, it feels great to be an oil painter. Uh, next question comes from Caroline Gonzalez. Uh, any advice you have for someone who's learning to draw for the first time? I would have advice for that. I'd say the, the best thing you can do is draw things that you're not comfortable with doing. I mean, I know you just have to have no expectations and no no idea that it's going to be, you're going to make something. If you're going to go paint or uh, draw an elephant, it doesn't have to be about making the elephant instantly recognizable. You know, start with something easy like a like maybe the feet or the trunk or an eye or something like that. Don't go crazy, you know? Um, and drawing as many different types of textures and um, shining things, texture, you know, like uh, furry things, those things are good to learn about drawing. Because a lot of times drawing is more about what you're actually seeing there than an actual thing. You know, it's more of an oval or it's, you know, this thing has some shading underneath it. You know, it's not necessarily like that's the shadow and it's the shape of a puzzle piece. So I would just try to uh, deconstruct things that you'd want to draw a um, section at a time. So like, you know, a nose, an eye, a cheek. My little partner in crime here. Kitty boy. Kitty boy, titty boy. Huh. 